G'day everyone, I'm Salvino, this is Alicia and Robin, and we're field ecologists with the Australian Wildlife Conservancy. We're here today at Mount Gibson Sanctuary on Batamaya Country. Join us today as we tell you about the work we do here on the Trudich. We're going to head out into the field and track some of our uh, reintroduced individuals, so come along for the ride. Reintroducing tunich to this landscape is really exciting because they're a predatory species. So as carnivores, they play a really important role in structuring ecosystems and regulating food chains, ensuring that the ecosystem is ticking along just as it should. So tunich are different compared to the other three Australian coral species, as they used to be the whitest spread. They're the second largest and they have a really brushy, bushy tail. What I love about the tunich is that given their small size, they still pack a punch. Weighing in at about a kilo, they, they're still ferocious predators and they play a really important role in the ecosystem. They may not be Australia's most well-known mammal, but they're sure making the case for it with their ferocity. The name Chudich comes from the Noongar language of southwest Western Australia. Uh, Chudich were once occurred across the lands of many peoples across the continent, about 70% of Australia. But due to a range of threats, their range has become restricted to a really patchy distribution down in only the corner of Western Australia, um, primarily on our country. And now they're being returned to some reintroduction sites, including Mount Gibson here in part of my country. Here at Australian Wildlife Conservancy at Mount Gibson Wildlife Sanctuary in Fruinha, we do quite a thorough, comprehensive cat and fox management program, which this includes um, cage trapping and baiting for these animals to allow children to come back to their natural habitat. Just like us having individual fingerprints, Chudich have a unique spotted pattern on their coats and we can use this unique uh, pattern to identify individuals from one another. So we have cameras set out in the environment uh, with baited lures and this brings them in, we get lots of photos of them and we're able to identify them based on their spotted patterns. We have a bunch of these out in the environment so we can monitor their movements post release. So here at Mount Gibson we do this to monitor how the population's going after their release and just to see how they're going and where they've moved to. So one of our ones that we do here is radio tracking that we use to track where the animals have moved to and look for survivorship. And a lot of this radio tracking does involve potentially going up to high points to see if we can get a better range or get an idea of where they've moved to. Thanks for joining us today. If you'd like to support our work helping to conserve the Chudich, you can donate directly to the Australian Wildlife Conservancy or support Australian Geographic's Australia's Most Endangered campaign. Thanks.